I was presenting some new work that I'm really excited about, looking at whether a tendency to be a loner or someone who joins a lot of groups is actually in part heritable. I drew on work from a classic twin study comparing monozygotic identical and dizygotic non-identical twins to show that the extent to which we're drawn towards groups is in part a heritable trait. The groups that we belong to shape in many ways how we feel about ourselves in the world. They also are implicated in how healthy we are. I think that this study iterates that for some of us, joining groups is gonna be relatively easy, but for others, it's going to be more of a challenge. And it's those others that we need to pay special attention to so that they can enjoy the benefits of group membership as well. In terms of what people can actually do, we have amazing work from the School of Psychology at the University of Queensland looking at just that. Um, getting people to join groups literally for health. Um, a practical suggestion for everyone, I think, is to see if there is a group centred around some of your interests and take part in it. It could not only be beneficial for your um, peace of mind, but also make you a healthier person. Well, I think uh, for me, the, the most important part is getting it out there to social psychology researchers that there are heritable components to these social behaviours, but that doesn't mean that it's deterministic in any way, that the environment is still important, but we also have to acknowledge that there are genetic effects that influence what appear to be socially dynamic behaviours. Uh, I worked on the project, so it wasn't a huge surprise for me, but I feel the way that Fee conveyed it was really great for fostering interdisciplinary research, which is kind of one of the takeaways from this is that we need to be working across fields to look at multiple different causes of behaviour. Look, I mean, like all good seminars, like, I just think it's like stimulating. So I always think like, I go to a talk, you know, I like the ones where I don't really know what I think. I think I've got to go away and think about that. So I think there's lots of interesting stuff, very different stuff, I think quite provocative stuff. I think there's lots of things you could take away and, and I've got to think about what did that really mean? What are the implications of that? The most fundamental takeaway is that we have a genetic basis or underlying genetic cause um, behind all that attitudes and group decision making and group membership. So genes matter, genes matter. Mm -hmm.